Good morning, good morning, good morning, you guys. Good morning. Thanks for joining me. Hi there. It is Monday morning. If you're catching me live, then you're going to be able to see the little live button right about here. If you don't see it, then you're on replay. Thanks for joining. And um, this morning we have a, a really cute project. Um, I don't know if you, <coughs> if you know about the Dollar Tree and their really cute calendars. Um, this is my first time to um, actually see these and know about these. So this is the cover of their calendar for next year. And inside they have these really adorable prints. So let's go through these really quick. And you can see that there are just so many possibilities. Um, I am looking at this with new eyes, thinking about all the things that we could do um, with these really pretty um, pictures. And they are on lightweight paper, um, which is good for some things like Mod Podging and things like that. Now today, I'm actually going to be working with the back cover. So on the back, um, is where they have the little explanation of you know what's inside. So they have a picture for each month and they're really small. They also have this one larger picture here. So I have just taken these little ones to do a project with. So if you think about that, that's pretty amazing. There are about 13 pages of pictures plus there's another 13 on the back. So for one dollar, that's a pretty good amount of craft um, items, guys. So a couple of the ideas that um, I've seen or I had myself um, were some people are taking the, the little uh, tumbling blocks that you get from Dollar Tree. Um, or if you just have like an old set of jingle blocks, um, people are gluing these together and then putting these little mini pictures from the back of the calendar right onto there. You can see how cute that would be. You could add other decorations um, around it. Just Can you just kind of uh, imagine and envision kind of what that would look like? Um, that got my brain excited um, to think about that. So maybe it'll get your brain excited too. Um, then the larger, the larger cutout that there's one of on the back, um, I have these little coasters. I think I've shown these one other time. They're little wooden coasters and they're perfect for different craft projects. So, um, let me see if I can get this pulled up so I can see when comments come on. So I'm thinking that <clears throat> if we Mod Podge this, you could put um, a magnet on the back. It could become a really cute fridge for your refrigerator. Um, you could do the same with this. But with these little ones, I'm thinking they would be really cute if you have a tiered tray. Um, it would just be a little pop of color, a little pop of surprise. And you could always put another one on the back. Um, this one says fall in love. So it's for fall, really cute. Um, my other idea is um, I found these at sale, on sale, reduced price, in the clearance actually at Michael's. So that's a whole thing of tags. Let's see, how many do you get? 80 pieces, guys. And they were five bucks. So you might check out Michael's and see if you can find these. Um, they are in rainbow, <coughs> rainbow colors. So... Um, Eight different colors, so there's ten tags of each color, and I thought those would be really cute, um, just as a little hanger, like we use a lot of times on um, on a gift bag or even you know on a craft project that we've done. We've had that before, where we've used um, Chuck Couture sells some little tags but you could totally hang it off, you know, of one of your pictures. Um, you could use the color side. 
you could paint it. There's just a lot of a lot of choices you could do with those. Um, I was even thinking we could do a beaded um, piece of jute and string it, and it would be a really cute um, finished product. So this morning I have a I have a, a meeting this morning. Um, so I was hoping to do a really quick project with you guys and show you um, show you these ideas, and we'll make one of them, and then um, I will make a few more and show you the finished product in a picture. So I'm thinking let's do let's do the the jenga block or the tumbling tower blocks is what they're called at Dollar Tree. So I have my glue gun hot and ready to go. So I'm just going to take my Gorilla Glue, hot glue, and I'm just gonna push those together. Trying to make sure that I keep my blocks really close together. I don't want a huge space. <clears throat> So now you could um, stain these little blocks, you could paint the little blocks. Um, sky's the limit, of course, with your idea. So I love seeing these um, little ideas for these kinds of projects. <clears throat> And I just think this would be really cute. Just anywhere you want a little, a little pop of seasonal color or a little surprise. I'm just thinking that's so cute, like just like it is. So I'm gonna grab my Mod Podge. Mm, if my Mod Podge is not dried closed. Ugh. Whew. I guess it's been a while since we Mod Podged. <laughs> ah, they do tend to get glued shut. Okay, so I'm just going to grab a little bit of my Mod Podge. Make it a nice, generous coat. We know that Mod Podge dries clear, so don't have to worry about... about it being up perfectly just under the picture because we're gonna go over the picture too. <clears throat> now oddly enough the back cover is is a little heavier so these pictures um, are a little easier to work with. They're not quite as, the paper's not quite as thin so you don't feel like it's quite as fragile. And I'm just gonna go right over the top <clears throat> See if that looks <clears throat> somewhat straight. So I think he's super cute. Um, I did pick up at the Dollar Tree, I did pick up some little fall stickers with some little sunflowers that would go really cute with those. Since we have those little bit of sunflowers here in the picture, it might be cute with a couple of little sunflowers. Maybe a couple of sunflowers on top to hide the little words. Got a little bubble in there. See if I can push that down. Mod Podge can take quite a bit of abuse, so if something's not laying down, just use your hands and give it a good press so that it's making good contact. Get that air bubble out of there. Okay, and then I thought we'd take a couple of these little sunflowers. 
you could almost um, make these into a pumpkin if you painted it orange and you gave it a little stem it'd be pretty cute as a little square pumpkin good morning Kathy thanks for joining me so this morning we have some Dollar Tree items that are super inexpensive and If you haven't been to the Dollar Tree lately, um, check it out. They really have um, a lot going on at Dollar Tree these days. It's a great place for crafters to pick up inexpensive items. So these little um, sunflowers have these little wire stems, which are great if you need a wire stem but they do snip with scissors pretty easily. So I'm thinking about just putting a few of these little sunflowers at the top. If you hopped on late, Kathy, we are looking at the Dollar Tree calendar. On the back of the calendar, there are 13 little pictures of the actual calendar pages. Good morning, Amy, thanks for joining us. Um, so we are using a Dollar Tree calendar very um, very simple and I've just taken those pictures and I'm using some old Jenga blocks you could use the tumbling tower blocks that you can get at Dollar Tree um, you get several of them for a dollar and we're just making um, a little wood block I hot glued it together and we're mod podging it would be really cute if you painted it orange and turned it into a little pumpkin or painted it red and turned it into a little apple um, I'm just going to put some hot glue and put some little sunflowers at the top just to add on with that little sunflower theme that's in the picture. I want to cover up my little words on the side of my blocks. I think it would be really cute in a tiered tray. Um, just a little pop of color, maybe sitting by your kitchen sink if you have a little window. Um, just super cute. <clears throat> totally go ahead and put something on the other side so that you've got two sides. Okay, my other idea is to take um, one of these little wood coasters. Um, I got them on Amazon. I don't know. I got a million for a couple of dollars. <laughs> um, really inexpensive. I can put a link um, to those on my on the page. If you're interested in the coasters, let me know, and I'll send you a link so you can check them out. <clears throat> see how much they are and see if you like them. Um, but they're great for lots of wood projects. They are just really thin. So if you want to um, use your drill, it's very simple. So I'm just thinking to Mod Podge that right in the middle. And then just hot glue a little magnet on the back and you've got a really cute um, fridge magnet. is another one of those things that you can you know add to a little gift um, or it could be a just just because you see someone who just looks down or um, you just want to brighten someone's day a tiny bit these are really cute So this is one Dollar Tree calendar. If you haven't checked out the Dollar Tree calendars, let me show you, I think I showed you the other day, um, but I just wanna show you the back. So if you were gonna use the back of this calendar, you have all of these adorable little kind of country wreath pictures. So, you could do a whole set of these um, using this calendar. And there's one more that's different. 
Um, this one is the Be Brave and it looks like this on the back. So you've got the 13 pages inside the calendar. And good morning, Kristen. Thanks for joining us. So you've got the 13 pictures inside the calendar, the big full pictures. And then you also have these on the back, these little ones. And I think they would make really cute little keychains. Um, I have these tags that I found at Michael's. <clears throat> And I think they would be really cute, um, again, to just Mod Podge your really cute um, little, little pieces. Do them the exact same way. And I think they'd be super cute. Um, you could even do, if you were doing a country-themed Christmas tree or something, you could really combine a lot of these. And they'd be cute little um, ornaments for like a small tree in your kitchen. Um, but very simple, very easy ideas. Um, and I am gonna make it short this morning, guys. I do have a, have to be at work at eight this morning. I have a team meeting and a few other things. So, um, sorry this is a little bit short this morning, but I just wanted to get you this idea. Um, if you haven't been to Dollar Tree and checked out their calendars, um, take a look. They have several. Um, these are the three that I thought were really cute. They all have like inspirational sayings or these little reeds are really cute. Um, these are more of those inspirational sayings, but the artwork is just really, really cute. So definitely worth a dollar um, and going for it. So I'm going to put a magnet on the back of this. It'll be on my fridge. Um, I'll probably put something on the back of this and put it, I have a little tiered tray that I need to get set up and I can surprise my daughter by actually using the tray that she got me for my birthday. Um, and I'm going to mess around with these chalk chips or these little chalk, uh, well I'd call them chalk chips if they were from Chalk Couture, but they're actually just little tags. So little chipboard tags. I uh, want to play around with those and make a few more things. Um, this morning is Monday, and Monday we draw from our sprinkle bucket. So let me grab the sprinkle bucket. So if you don't know what sprinkle means, it means to S-H-A-R-E. So if you know someone who you think would enjoy watching this crafting video or, not, or any of the others, um, or even just the memes that I post, um, feel free to um, sprinkle and let them have a chance to see it. Um, I appreciate that and it helps my page. So inside here are some names of people who have sprinkled the love this week. And I'm gonna pull out a name. Christy Thompson. Christy Thompson, you're my winner this week. So I will contact you and um, you have won a tea towel and you can tell me what which transfer you would like to have put on the tea towel. So we'll coordinate with Christy. Um, if you want to uh, sprinkle the love, I will see your name that you did that and I will put your name in my bucket. Um, all right guys, thanks so much for joining me this morning. I appreciate your time being here. Um, come back tomorrow, I'll be live and um, I'll have a new project. Uh, probably do, do some chalking tomorrow. I haven't done chalking in a few days with you guys. so. I'll get a chalk project tomorrow. All right, guys. Have a great day. Get out there and make it a great day. Bye.